Hi, this is Dr. Ayyappan Vinayat and um, today um, I would like to answer one question which normally patients ask. This uh, is normally patients ask me what is an implant used in shoulder surgery or arthroscopic surgeries and um, the answer would be we use something called as suture anchors. So what are suture anchors? So now uh, if we have a tear of a ligament in the shoulder like we have a, a tear here called as a band cut uh, lesion or a band cut injury where a ligament and a structure called as a labrum comes off. Now how do we fix it back? Fixing it back would be like tying the stone structure back to the bone. For this we need sutures or threads. So sutures, have, so how do we fix it? So normally um, we, we use something called as an anchor. Anchors are basically conical screw-like structures. They are conical screw-like structures, and uh, so you can see this. This is if this is the bone. We bury this screw into it, and from the screw we have threads which come out, and this is called as a suture anchor. There are three different types, or four different types of suture anchors. So the earliest were metal suture anchors. So it would be a metal conical small screw. If it is a bank cut type, this is a, it is a shoulder instability or a shoulder dislocation surgery, we use a 2.8, 2.9 millimeter, or maybe a three millimeter suture anchor. And then um, we started having peak or plastic, plastic polyethyl ethyl ketone. So peak suture anchors were available. But the problem was the metal and the peak or the plastic, they don't absorb, they always remain in the body. And uh, that can sometimes lead to foreign body reactions, could, be, could lead to bone lysis, that is the bone around it which, uh, can get eroded and could be a pull out. And then um, science developed what is known as bioabsorbable material. So it is, if this kind of suture anchors or screw kind of material, they get completely absorbed into the body, into the bone over a period of maybe one year or two years time. So now, science has evolved even further now. So we have something called as all suture anchors, as the name suggests, it is fully suture material. There's no screw, there's no plastic, there's no metal. So now, as you can see this, this is a all suture anchor. So the thread is goes like this. One end of the thread gets balled up and buried into the bone and the other end comes up. So this works the same way as any other suture anchor. The advantage is that there's no other material into the bone and uh, it is extremely useful in shoulder instability surgery or shoulder dislocation surgeries. So now if the question is asked like which is better? The problem happens if it is a non-absorbable material or if it is a solid material. If it's a solid material and if I bury it here and if some part of it, some part for example, this slightly comes out for some reason, then it can rub on the remaining bony structures and cause something called as, something called as the coconut scraper effect. That means it can scrape off the bone and the cartilage and can cause serious arthritic changes. So that's why I would like to avoid in my surgeries any kind of solid material. So I prefer using all suture anchors in all my um, instability surgeries.